I look really washed out. Better. Today I am going to do um, one of two videos. Today I am going to do one on how to do a bun in your hair and then I'm going to show you how to do a bun in your hair without using a cheat. And when I say a cheat, I mean this. I can't remember what they're called. Bun. I say bun net, but it's not a net, is it? Bun. Donut. 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 So today I'm going to show you how to do it with, and then I'll show you how to do it without. When you use with a donut, it can make like a really nice, like precise size donut and you can make it like a lot bigger. But I also like making it without a donut because um, you can make it look a lot more messy, a lot more like back combed, a bit more crazy. So it depends what look you're going for. If you do ballet or anything like that, and you need to have your hair in a tight bun, this is perfect for it. You can get them, like I've got a brunette one because obviously I am trying to go blonde, but I am still quite dark haired, so I have a brunette one. You can get blonde ones, black ones, um, loads of different colours, and you can also get loads of different sizes and from loads of different shops as well. They're like this funny, like meshy material, and that's because if you have bobby pins um, to put into your head, like it holds the whole thing together, you put the bobby pin straight through this bun. Today, I am not going to show you how to do it with bobby pins because, um, well, one, I completely lost every single one of my bobby pins and about three quarters of the packet got chucked anyway because I stretch with bobby pins because my hair is just like, or was at the time so thick and crazy that it just could not be tamed. Also, that I find it a little bit easier now using just normal, normal hair grips. So, my instruments. I'm already covered in hair. Why? I think I have eight hair clips. They're quite long ones, but I didn't intentionally get them long. These are just from Wilkinson's. They're a pound for a pack of like 50 or something like that. I usually just get like normal like boots clips or something, but I on purposely got these ones because they are extra, extra long. So I've got eight clips. I have a donut and I also have three hair bands around my wrist. And brush. I've mentioned these before, if you're wondering, that is not a brush. Brush usually has like a handle and it's like not like a funny shaped like a kidney or something. At the moment I am living by the Tangle Teaser. They are superb sublime. First thing that you need to do is probably have somewhere to put all of your instruments so you can do your hair because at the moment I'm just on a chair in the middle of my room and I can't just plonk my stuff down in front of me. I need like a little table or something I can just go and just put them but I don't so it's gonna have to be a balance and act on my lap today. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna try to get your hair up in a ponytail. Um, this can be a low or a medium or high ponytail or to the side or you can have two, anything you prefer. I'm going for the higher ponytail just because one, I like the look of higher ponytails anyway. Um, I think they're quite fashionable at the moment, but not only that, um, the higher the ponytail is in my head, the less it hurts my head. I tend to find when I wear like low or medium ponytails, um, it pulls my hair quite a bit. Oh, you can see that moving. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for a high ponytail. So I'm gonna flick my hair forward and brush, brush all the back of my hair so I don't have any bumps but it's brush oh I dropped my brush and one ah oh, I dropped my donut and also if you guys have seen um a video yet on this pit ah oh, on this piercing here um it was quite a short video on the pros and the cons of um getting that piercing done if anyone was thinking about getting it done um if you are thinking about getting it done, um, one major thing um, that I forgot to mention in the video that I only just thought about now because I just experienced it is um, your hair gets like wrapped around it if you have long hair. So every time you go do anything like this, you have a nightmare like trying to work out to get all the hair off of it. But and if you see me looking in this direction a lot, it's because there's a mirror there. I don't want to do this completely blind. So now I look a bit like Sporty Spice and I've got my ponytail up. Um, I am going to loosen up this bit of hair soon, but I don't want to do it now because I want the bun to look right before I do anything. So we are doing it with the donut today. 
So I'm just going to grab, put my hand through the donut, and I'm just going to grab all of that hair and just pull it through. So you've got a little strange look of a donut around your hair. I mean, you could always just leave it like this. This could be a trend one day. I think this looks quite jazzy. So now we'll do the normal thing. So what you're going to do, if you can see, is you're just going to spread out your hair around that donut, just so then you've covered all of the donut. I think this could be a look. So then when it comes to you just you get in a hairband and just wrapping it around that donut. That donut, oh, should be all covered. Mine isn't all covered. This is great. And then you're just gonna pull all of that hair that's left over, if you do have any hair left over, to the back. Pull it as tight as you can, but as long as you haven't like jeopardized the beauty of the bun. I'm just gonna twist that hair tight as I can and then I'm gonna wrap it round the bun. Now when you first do this, I like what I have just done, it does look very strange. So with that bit of hair that I've used there, you are gonna introduce your first hair clip and just pinning that bit of hair down just so then that hair isn't gonna unravel around your hair. You can then do what I'm doing and secure it extra by putting another hairband another hair around just to secure it a little bit more um, because if you've got quite thick hair then the pins are going to struggle. So then you've got this really strange look of you have a bun and a bun. Now you, what you want to do is just to cover the look of that bottom bun is you're just going to pull out this bun a bit and all you're going to do is just pull the hair over the bun and then pin it to your head. So it's just wrapping over the bun now. If you've got long hair or thick hair, I suggest um, bobby pins. Um, if you don't have any bobby pins, um, then I suggest you need more than eight hair clips. I don't have the thickest hair, I don't have the longest hair. And eight hair clips aren't really doing all my hair. As you can see, front looks like moderately okay. I haven't even started doing the back yet. So we're gonna have to leave that back to the imagination. But yeah, just try and cover it as much as you can and make sure it's stable. Remember, you're not going to be keeping your head still all day. Right, so there's the bun there. Right, there we go. See if there's a back image, if the back image looks any good. So there's the starter of the bun. Right, so it's nice and big, nice and even, round. Now, what you can do from here, if you are going to go for like a ballet look, I would suggest, I'm leaving it as it is, um, slick back in your hair and hairspray and, um, and maybe even a bun net if you've got a lot of layers in your hair and you're getting the old wispy bits sticking out like I think I have got at the moment. If you were going for more of a everyday look, um, what I suggest you doing is just pulling on your hair here and just getting it a bit baggier, a bit more, oh, all the pins are going to come flying out now. Just getting a bit more baggier, a bit more every day. You're not such like uptight bun look, you know. Yeah, chilling out bun look. So yeah, you just pull out loads of bits like that, make it look a bit more baggier. I also really like it if you just pull out some hair here, just some hair like that. And then if I show you from the back, um, I'm sorry if there's pins and things hanging out of this, I can't really suspect it too much. But there is your bun. Ta-da! Is my camera just really dark or what? Okay. Oh, that's brightened up a bit? Yes. So there is my bun, as best as I can do, with a donut, three hair bands, and eight hair clips, which I have used all of that. So like I said, I will be doing a video on um, doing a bun with no donut in it, and you'll see from that that the, the um, bun will look a lot messier, a lot probably a lot smaller than this one, but I do think it's a lot easier to do, you have a lot more to work with, it's a lot easier to put the hair clips in, things like that. So you can go and check that one out, I hope that this has helped, and if you want me to do any other tutorials or anything like that then just let me know, just write it in the description below, catch me on Twitter, catch me on Facebook, or any other shebang. 
but if you subscribe then you can see more tutorials because I will do a video every single day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye! This is the first thing I got. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I also love this as well because it doesn't seem like the type of thing Primark does. Like the way it fits to me and everything. I could imagine this to be a Primark thing but it is. 